The project started in 2008 and it set out to see whether fertilisers could increase the amount of zinc stored in the grain of cereals. Now this is important because cereals in many parts of the world form the basic part of the carbohydrate fraction of a diet. Many poor countries have 75% of their total diet coming from cereals. Most cereals have very low levels of zinc in them and so whilst carbohydrate might be being intaken then the levels of zinc are so low that zinc deficiency is induced. The result on a world level is over 20% of the human population is deficient in zinc and just under 500,000 deaths in children each year are attributed to zinc deficiency. This is important because another project also designed to increase zinc levels in grain sets out to do this by breeding. Now breeding takes a long time but fertilizers or agronomic biofortification as it's sometimes referred is very quick and this could provide a short-term answer to a very real problem. The project is sponsored by many organisations. The most significant of these is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, but also the World Bank and many governments, including the United States, United Kingdom and Canada, also support the project. It is being coordinated by a university in Turkey and headed by a world-renowned scientist, Professor Ismail Chakmak. The project is in two phases. The first phase, which has just finished and has run for three years, involved field trials in many participating countries. These were initially eight, but have since grown to 14 or 15. And in these countries, field trials involved growing cereals, the varieties of wheat, rice and maize, and then having different fertilizers applied to them and the results monitored in terms of seeing whether or not they could increase the amount of zinc being stored in the grain. The fertilizers were applied in two forms. One was by sprinkling onto the soil and the other was by direct spraying onto foliage. Omex Agrofluids was chosen to be the provider of the formulations for the foliar fertilizers due to its well-known expertise in this field. The results of this first phase are now in that firstly soil fertilisation is not effective in raising the levels of zinc in grain. However the good news is that foliar fertilisation is effective. Indeed levels have been managed to be raised from 25 parts per million on average to over 50 parts per million, well within the sufficiency range for the diets of humans. The third point to come from this series of field experiments was that the foliars that performed best were the Omex foliars. And the reason for this is the formulation technology used by Omex in their makeup. This technology we call EBA, which stands for Enhanced Bioavailability. This means that when the products are made, great care is taken to ensure maximum penetration of the foliar into the crop and then its subsequent movement throughout the crop. This technology is really the prime success for these foliars. The next phase of the project is arguably the most important. That's the second phase when the results are transmitted to farmers and growers. To support this, in all the participating countries, a series of zinc days will be held over the next two years when farmers and growers are invited to hear about the results and how they can use them in their own farming practices. For it's only when foliar fertilisation is adopted by all the countries that the human population will benefit. Mm -hmm.